Hello, my name is Bill and welcome to Mind Your Crypto. Today we have Bitcoin daily update. We are going to see the next targets, a very important day. But of course, before we continue, do not forget to join our monthly subscription link in the description box and in the comment section. Patreon slash Mind Your Crypto or buy me a coffee slash Mind Your Crypto. You will get easy profits through an automated system with buying and selling opportunities for 200 altcoins you will also get a manual system with over 90 percent win ratio personal guidance educational videos become expert in technical analysis and hold your future in your hands market updates and many many more benefits thank you for watching have a fantastic day wherever you are let's go real quickly into a non-biased technical analysis right here and as you can see we have the institutional gap right there which institutions bought into the sell price right here the selling point you can see that from this point right there to this bottom okay so institutions got in probably we are pushing the price upwards we are going to see that though because if we go on the four hour frame you will realize that we made the 20 day ma as support level but at the same time we have the 50 day ma so close to bitcoin okay and we need to see how this will react because as you can see we already have an overbought on the four hour frame okay for the commodity channel index and for the stochastic RSI. Although on the daily frame, it looks like we are pretty much into a nice oversold situation right there with all of the risk metrics being into an extreme oversold. If we go and use the pitchfork right there, the sieves pitchfork, you can see, you can find it on the third row on trading view in Skiff pitchfork, pitchfork, okay, right here, you can see that if we go from this bottom, we need three pivot points, as we call them. If we go from this bottom on 20 July up to this top, okay, and then back to the bottom, you will see that we hold this line right here, which is very, very important, and haven't closed yet below, okay? This was a very, very good thing. We found huge spine pressure on the 1.618 line right there, and the pitchfork includes the time, okay? Pitchfork has support resistance levels that include the time. So that's why you can make a price analysis. Right now, the good part is that we hold this line and we now want to see a very, very nice huge point pressure towards the 20 day EMA on the daily frame. Okay, on the daily frame, we have a very, very low risk yet and we can go further upwards. At the same time though, we have seen multiple times bitcoin going a little bit sideways um along the minus 100 line right here of the commodity channel index but anyway i think that we are in an extreme oversold for the whole market right there and i think that we are going to see the swing high we want to see for the altcoins and for bitcoin as well okay it was very important that we keep this blue line right here, a very important line to keep. And of course, that's what we want to see right now. So for the daily frame, it is very, very possible that we go even, even higher, except we find sell pressure on the fifth day EMA. If we are able to get above the fifth day EMA, then what we have to do is to make it again as a support level. If, if eventually we have a sell off. Okay. So the reason we want to do that is because sometimes on a bearish market, we are seeing the 50 day EMA above the 20 day. Okay. And after we go above the 50 day May, that's a very, very good selling point. We want to see, first of all, breaking above the 50 day and secondly, getting even higher, making it as a support level. For that reason, I would prefer, I would prefer actually if Bitcoin makes a very, very quick swing high right now. Okay, as for Ethereum against Bitcoin chart, you can see that right now Ethereum runs out of gas against Bitcoin. You can see that we are about fine 20 day MA as a support level right now, and we might be dropping even, even further down. What I would do is that I would go into the pitchfork right there. I would use the pitchfork again, this time from this bottom to this top and to this bottom again. You can see that the 1.618 was the highest we could go. Now, the best part is if we keep this line right here as support level, okay? If we do not, we are going down to the 20 day May, and if we find sell pressure, we are going to the next target, which can be 0 0.0178913, or a little bit higher, 
because as long as we are going slowly down the target, the support levels increase. Okay, that's what it means to include the time because it is different if we go down all the way today, for example, to this target right there, and it is different if we go on 1st January. Okay, the support level gets higher and higher because this altcoin shows some more strength. It steadily goes down instead of having huge selling pressure. Right now, Ethereum against Bitcoin is running out of gas. That's why you're seeing Ethereum not going up so much. And it is also because we had a very, very high risk over this last few days, okay, from 4 December to 8 December, Ethereum against Bitcoin was in a pretty much of a overall situation. Now, what we need, though, is the Bitcoin to get a very, very quick swing high. So Ethereum against USDT will be able to go even, even higher. For me, the next major resistance level for Bitcoin will be around 52.6 to 52K. Okay, so around there, we are going to see the next major resistance level. And if we can break this, then we can go to the 54K. We need to take it step by step. Okay, from this this time from now on we need to take this step by step so we can be more sure thank you for watching do not forget to join our monthly subscription link in the description box and in the comment section and of course see you soon with many many more videos bye